Hello, welcome back. So we're going to continue on with our discussion on the derivative of e to the x. We learned in the last video that the derivative of e to the x is just its own x, right? Are you over your x? Nope. She just keeps coming back to you. When we take the derivative of e to the x, y, now in this case we're going to be using implicit. I know I'm going to be using implicit because I have y's inside the equation. You want to be careful here. There is a chain rule, but even worse, we're going to be using our product rule. So when we take the derivative here, we're going to get e to the x, y. That's what my rule says. But there's a product rule. The first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Always put your product rule in parentheses, less mistakes that way. Plus the derivative of x squared is 2x minus, be careful, here we're going to get 2y, but don't forget, I'm taking the derivative of a y, so I need my dy dx, and that's going to equal 0 right there. Before I solve for dy dx, I would definitely recommend expanding this. So this is going to become x, if I distribute here, e to the xy dy dx plus y e to the xy plus 2x minus 2y dy dx equal to 0. Our rule, anything that has a dy dx stays. Everything else is going to go away. So that's going to leave us with dy dx times x e to the xy minus 2y. Everything else is going to go to the other side, so I've got to switch your signs. So this will become like a minus 2x minus y e to the xy. And now I can take my derivative. dy dx, I just divide, right? Negative 2x minus y e to the xy over x e to the xy minus 2y. And there's our answer. There's our derivative. E piece of cake. Easy as pie. All right, number 10. All right, oh no. You might be asking yourself, Mr. Werner, this stuff is so easy, but how's it going to help me with my tangent lines? Good question. Let's write the equation of our tangent line at x equals 1. When we write a tangent line, don't forget the first thing we need, we need to get a point. Now we have the x value at 1, we have to find y. So I'm going to do that just by plugging it into my function. If I plug in 1, I get e to the 2 times 1 plus 3 so I'm just going to get e to the fifth. So my point, 1 e to the fifth. Now we have to get our slope. To do that, we need our derivative, dy dx. Be careful when you take the derivative. There is a chain rule here. We're going to get e to the 2x plus 3. Don't forget chain rule times 2. There's my, there's my derivative. To get my slope, I'm going to use that fancy notation we talked about, dy dx, at x equals 1, and I just plug it in. This becomes e, if I plug in 1 here, to the fifth times 2. So I get 2e to the fifth. There's my slope. Writing your tangent line, y minus e to the fifth equals 2e to the fifth, x minus 1. And there's our tangent line. Don't simplify that at all. And there we go. There's our answer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know this was a short one, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.